and welcome to A Day in the Life of Aviva. I have exercised and showered and I'm now ready for my favourite part of my morning routine which is skincare. Alright so I've just got my hair out of my face and I've already cleansed in the shower. I always use an oil cleanser in the shower and now I'm going to tone. I really like this toner. I just started using it a few days ago but I find it really really nice. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels like it's really doing its job and it smells really nice. It's an aloe toner. I definitely need to use an eye cream rather than bringing my moisturizer around my eyes. So I'm using the Careline one, which I bought because it looks like it's a similar one to the Clinique one that I love and just finished. And I'm going into my current moisturizer, which is almost finished. I really like this one by CeraVe. I think it's lovely. It feels really light. It doesn't smell of anything. And it hasn't broken me out. It hasn't done anything weird. Now it's time for my favorite lip balm ever, 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 the Dr. Paul Paul lip balm. I love it, I think it's the best. It feels really nice on the lips. It's not too thick and too heavy. All right, so skincare is on. I usually let it sink in for a bit. I'm gonna go dub in and eat my breakfast and then I will do a little bit of makeup. I'm going to have the same thing I have every morning, which is three week of bix Next up, we're gonna do a little bit of makeup. I'm just starting off with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I just dotted it onto all of the spots, the lovely spots that I have. Next, I curl my eyelashes. If I'm going to do my makeup, I will always, always curl my eyelashes. My favorite mascara, this is the L'Oreal Paradise. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of the Maybelline Fit Me, my favorite under eye concealer for myself. Just a little bit under my eyes. I'm just going to use this pale shade that you can see I love. I'm just going to pat that everywhere that I put concealer. Taking that same palette, just grabbing some bronzer. If I'm wearing a mask all day, which to be honest I will be, I don't necessarily bother with bronzer on my cheeks, but on my forehead I will. Alright, I'm just at a traffic light waiting. It is so, so cold outside. I am... Whew, I'm dreading getting out of my car again, but I'm ready. I should be five minutes early, which is what I always aim to be, at least five minutes early, so that I can find the apartment easily. Um, and yeah, it should be a good climb. I know it's going to be a good day today because my client had parking. Such fun. This is my gorgeous client, Jenny. We finished the bridal trial. You can see we did slightly different looks on each eye, and she chose the one that's on our right, the beautiful gold, smoky, gorgeous eye. She looks absolutely stunning. Look at her skin. Wow. I'm just making myself a frittato. This is what it looks like, but I need to cover it with a lid now for it to cook properly. So this is my not very glamorous looking frittata. I totally failed at flipping it, but it should be delicious. It's got spinach and tomato and mushroom. It is snowing right now, and I am now on my way for my second fun activity of the day, which is I'm going to get my nails done. Okay, we have the shiniest looking nails and the neatest looking nails. And Emma is now planning what we're gonna do. I wanted her to choose something beautiful <laughs> and I'm very, very excited. Okay, Emma is doing something really mysterious with loads of different nail polishes. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but I know it's gonna be stunning. She, look, she's taking all different colors and she's blobbing them. And then something's gonna happen. Let's see. Wow. Are you ready to see the magical nails that Emma did on me? This is them. This is the magical, fantastical, beautiful design that she did. Isn't it stunning? The final meal of the day, mine is probably a snack later, is some delicious chicken and vegetables and fresh beans and rice. And I'm very excited to eat this. This chicken I actually made a couple of nights ago and it was disgusting. I did the recipe wrong. And so afterwards I marinated it in a peanut butter sauce and it's now delicious. And then I sauteed it, obviously. <laughs> so I'm gonna dig in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this more informal living my life with me video. Good night.